Good work today. You didn't get hurt, did you? I have some good news. Check this out. We've had some progress with the new business between the Hounds and Dusty Miller. We'll head over there now and meet up with our new associates. Ein will give us the details when we arrive. In the meantime, you can have a look at some of the documents on the database. It's the dawn of a new tomorrow for us, friend. I can't thank you enough. I'm sure Hugo told you, but we're working on a new joint venture between Dusty Miller and the Hounds. Did you read the documents I sent over? I see. I'll just sum it up then. We're researching a new bit of tech that has a whole lot of potential. Your engineer Keith came up with the idea of adaptive armor. It'd be a real game changer. The armor would automatically adjust itself to compensate for shifts in Ashland bias tendency. 
Until now, only living beings like Aegis have had that kind of adaptive capability. None of the experts thought it could ever be applicable to anything inorganic. Keith sure turned that idea on its head. <laughs> that kid, I swear. If adaptive armor becomes viable, we'll see ash crawlers making ultra-long distance voyages. That means we'll be able to set up safer, more efficient routes. And you can be sure every port will leap at that kind of opportunity. So our first step is perfecting adaptive armor. To do that, we'll need to extract the core from an ash storm aragami. The target activates nearby ashlands, raising ash density higher than in restricted ash zones. It's a walking ash storm. There aren't many God Eaters who can fight in those conditions. We'll need you and Feem for this. Are you willing to help? Thanks. We're counting on you. I'll be coming with you to fight it. And we'll have some extra help as well. Come on in. Long time no see. I expect you're already acquainted. Like us, he's a God Eater adapted to high ash levels. I can vouch for his skill. I've also heard he was one of the Crimson Queen's best. Don't oversell my abilities, Ayn. I just plan on doing my job. <laughs> I only stated the facts. The four of us will take down the Ash Storm Aragami. Make sure to communicate with each other, and prepare well. We'll start by determining the creature's whereabouts. Once the target has been located, we'll move in. That is all. Never thought I'd be fighting alongside you. To be honest, I have mixed feelings about it. I don't have a lot of great memories here. What does it look like? I'm as fit as I ever was. Let's just try to stay out of each other's way. Deal? When we're done, we part ways. For now, our objective is the same. That's what matters.
Okay, everyone. Since this is your first time out with Neil, you'll need to remember to adjust to each other. I can watch my own back, thanks. Don't worry about me. I won't slow you down. Begin when ready. Be sure to come home, okay? Work on the mission. You're as good as ever. But there is something that I wanted to talk to you about. There was no engage response from Neil. I thought it was a glitch at first, so I double checked some things. But now I'm certain it's not just an error. Could you check in with him? I don't really feel comfortable asking him about it. What? This is about Engage? I thought I told you all to mind your own business. Well, whatever. Engage just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I guess I'm a failure as an age. I train harder to make up for it. You done questioning me now? Then leave me alone.
Ah, Neil's engage. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's possible for him to use it. Do you know what the Crimson Queen said about him? A prodigy who fights like a demon and treats comrades like family. The two of you have a lot in common. But he's missing something vital that you have. Friends. A whole lot of people died when the Crimson Queen fell. It might not be the cause of Neil's trouble with Engage, but it's certain to have an influence. Ayn, do you have a minute? I wanted to ask you something about the new grenade. I mean, there's one bit that just won't work. Got it. I'm on my way. Oh, and could you bring me some food? I haven't eaten since yesterday. <laughs> Am I your personal servant now? Sorry, I've got to run. Keep an eye on Neil for me. Ridiculous. So tired. <sighs> Hugo? Anomaly in Hugo's vitals. Are you able to communicate? I read you any. I took a real beating. Damn it. Hugo? What's your status? Return to base now, people! Get Hugo to the medical ward! That Ash Storm Origami is too dangerous to fight.
You're telling us to quit? Yeah, this mission is too dangerous. You got hurt badly, and backing out is the only thing that kept your friend alive. We won't be so lucky next time. If we run into that thing again, all of us will die. No, we're not quitting. What we're doing is more than just finishing a job. Is it worth getting all of us killed? <sighs> it's to fulfill a dream. A dream? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. The future of the Hounds depends on this job. We know the risks. <sighs> and we don't plan on dying either. Keith is working things out for us as we speak. You know better than anyone what he can do. We're gonna sit back and leave it to him. <clears throat> we can still die. Then it's all over. I can't help you anymore. Neil dropped out, huh? I guess it's like him in a way. Well, I'm sorry he's being such a pain. He was always stubborn, even as a kid. It's like he thinks changing his mind is admitting defeat. He's like an old man. Yeah, I mean, he's not exactly wrong in what he's saying, is he? When he was little, he caught a butterfly, a swallowtail. It had amazing wings. Well, butterflies don't live very long once you catch them. That one died later that evening. He sat right in front of it and cried all night. He kept saying, I'm sorry you died because of me, again and again. Yeah, he was sweet. He was real sweet. I should probably sit down and clear the air with him. But after all this time... Well, it's now or never. I'm doing it. encounter heavy resistance. Good luck. Time to prove my skill. We need to focus. I... remember this place. What are you 
easy mission. I think I did a good job today. I should get a massage later. With all of your capabilities, you don't even need my support. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Why's Keith here too? Ah, don't worry about it. Sit down. I thought it'd be nice for the three of us to talk. What's there to talk about? Let's just get it over with, Neil. Zeke dragged me away from an experiment for this. Keith gets it. I'm the oldest, so you've got to listen to me, little bros. Ah, fine. Man, that's crazy. He went through a lot, huh? I guess so. Everyone's dead now. Hmm. I wanted to ask you, what's your guy's dream? Our dream? Hugo mentioned it. He said the hounds are doing all this for a dream. Oh, that. Yeah, we're gonna build a port. A port? Yeah, a place where ages, god-eaters, everyone can live free, no matter where they came from. Incredible, right? Wouldn't you want to live there? <laughs> What's so funny about that? No, it's just so grandiose, right? So that's your dream? Neil, we are playing around, and I'm not going to let you just laugh at us. Easy. You've got it wrong. I'm laughing because I'm happy. Huh? In the Crimson Queen, we had a dream too. We wanted to make it so all ages could be happy. So all this time, we've been trying to work toward the same thing. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, that just proves what I was saying. This plan is too risky. Abort it and rethink. Come on, Neil. If you're dead, it's over. Your dreams, your hopes. I've seen it with my own eyes. <sighs> yeah, you're right. When you're dead, it's over. Same for everyone. But listen to me, Neil. That doesn't mean our dream will die, too. We're not the only ones trying to do this. Even when we're gone, others will still be here. So our dream will live on. Forever. So Zeke's getting a bit intense over there, but his underlying point is correct. It's the pressure we feel to fulfill this dream that gives us the motivation to keep going. A solid plan isn't going to just drop into our laps. But that doesn't mean we're down and out. Guys, I... Neither of us is gonna twist your arm. Just don't be scared to follow your own will. Like you said, we've got the same goal. That's why we're here together. Anyway, I'm glad we could talk. Thanks. <sighs> right, that's out of the way. Time to plan our hunt. Keith, back to your experiment. Dismissed. Whoa, okay then. That wasn't abrupt or anything. My own will.
the Astro Maragami signature on the resonance radar. Where is it now? It seems to be moving around Pennywort. Understood. We'll set out for Pennywort immediately. Amy, please prepare for pursuit. Uh, all right. I'll get right on it. Looks like we found the Ash Storm Aragami. Send you out empty-handed, of course. The last few late nights have finally paid off. After some cross-referencing, I came up with a way to neutralize the creature's ash field. It's a new type of grenade that interferes with ash activity and cancels it out. I call it the Tactical Anti-Ash Storm Bomb. Well, it was Ein's idea, really. It's amazing how he came up with it after just one encounter. So, I've come up with the recipe, but I'm a bit short on ingredients, if you get my meaning. I'm gonna need you to pick those up before we head to the hunt proper. I've given the details to Amy, so talk to her when you're ready. mission.
Good to see you home. Oh, looks like the cat felt the same way. Ash storm bomb. But sorry, I couldn't make many. It'll be a while until we can mass produce these things. If you run out, check back at the shop, okay? I'll deliver them as quick as I can make them. Oh, and I talked with Ein. These are going to be featured in the Hound product catalog later. Once we have the production capacity, we'll sell them to other ports and make a bit of scratch. He is one shrewd individual. Well, I guess if you've got it, you've got it, huh? Anyway, this will be an important battle. Remember, your god arc is in good hands with me. Now's no good, Hugo. At the very least, you should hold off on the attack. That was way too much ash exposure. I bet you can barely stand. You're trying to talk me out of it? Well, I appreciate the thought. We're taking down that ash storm origami. We need to boost our chances, and my experience should give us a bit of an edge, at least. You're not scared? Of failing? Or of someone dying? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't afraid of either. But we've always taken on this kind of risk, with no guarantee of success. We've knuckled down, trusted each other, and done everything we could. That hasn't changed. Everything you could? You got it. Anyway, we can talk later. I want to get some rest before we head out. Come home safe, Hugo. You know I will. We're not gonna die, I promise.
Und... My right arm is still acting up. It sure picked a hell of a time. Hmm? Did you hear that? I hope everything turns out okay. So. Why? Nobody gets in my way. And I don't get weighed down having to worry about anyone. You don't like having people to worry about? I don't like losing things. You. Is that all? I have a lot to do, you know. Hey, Neil. Why don't you fight? Well, I mean... Yeah. There were a lot of people I couldn't save. And they were good people, too. That's what happened with the Crimson Queen. Every time I meet people, they die. I can't take any more of that. If getting involved with people ends up hurting me, it's better not to get involved. It's easier to just take care of yourself than to try to take care of everyone, right? I don't know about that. It's more fun when you think about everybody. I was alone before I met all of you. And I'm a lot happier now that we're together. <laughs> Zeke told me about your dream. It's worth going after. Seriously. <laughs> right? See, you're already one of us, Neil. What did you say? If you like our dream, then you're one of us, right? Look at all of you. Babbling nonsense with your eyes all wide and innocent. Getting involved with you would make my hair turn gray in a week. You need me, huh? Hmm. You only have one life. You can't throw it away, even for a beautiful dream. <sighs> Hugo's gonna die if I don't go. Then I don't have much of a choice, do I? Neil! You're coming with us? Just get ready before I change my mind. You all dragged me into this. It's not on me if anyone dies.
Use the anti-ash storm bomb the second it makes contact. Then we'll hit it with everything we've got. Exactly. Let's finish this and go home to celebrate. Receive the core once everyone's back at the ship. Attention! The Astro Maragami will decay quickly. Don't forget to extract the core. Okay! Let me help! Good work. I was sure you could pull it off. Neil, I owe you my thanks, too. I appreciate this. I just wanted to see the bastard squirm, that's all. <laughs> I can respect that. You helped us keep this dream going, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Neil, you are wonderful! Especially the engage part! Knock it off. It's not a big deal or anything. <laughs> so, Neil. That dream of ours. Building a port of our own. Do you want in on it? Uh, I'll think about it. Hey, I told you from the beginning this is a one-time thing. Well, you'll be on the ship for a while, right? Just give it some thought. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm stuck with you for a while anyway. That was some fine work. We got the Ash Storm Aragami core we need. Now we can complete the adaptive armor. We'll soon have a piece of tech that nobody else does. Congratulations, Hugo. The Hounds keep moving up in the world. You're a step closer to your dream. We have you to thank for that. We couldn't have done it on our own. 
You helped set us on this path, Hein. Hmm. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Adaptive armor stands to be hugely profitable and advanced crawler travel. But you've already got it all. Why would you invest so much in this project? I figured you'd spot that at some point, Hugo. <sighs> I've got friends out in the Far East waiting for me. Way out there? That's all I can say for now. <laughs> that sounds like a bit of a story. Yeah, exactly. You guys really came through for me again. Thanks again for talking to Neil. I think he'll straighten himself out now. Feem, you were fantastic as always. <laughs> Mommy was with me, so I wasn't scared even a little bit. I see. You have a wonderful mommy. Yeah, my mommy is the best mommy in the world. We've pushed a step farther. It may have been a small step, but it's sure to have a large effect. I've sorted out a little party for us. Let's celebrate our progress. Hooray! Party, party! Thank you.